case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1942 case of Chaplinsky v. New Hampshire, the Supreme Court of the United States addressed the limits of free speech and the government's ability to regulate speech that could pose harm or disturbance to the public. The case involved a member of the Jehovah's Witness faith, Chaplinsky, who was convicted of violating a New Hampshire law prohibiting the use of insulting or annoying words in public. Chaplinsky argued that this law infringed upon his constitutional rights to free speech, religion, and press. The situation leading to the lawsuit occurred when Chaplinsky was distributing religious literature on a busy street, and a disturbance broke out. He was arrested after insulting a city marshal with offensive language. The lower court found him guilty, and Chaplinsky appealed the decision. The Supreme Court upheld the conviction, ruling that the New Hampshire law was constitutional. The court determined that the law's purpose was to maintain peace by only prohibiting words likely to incite violence. They also noted that not all types of speech are protected by the Constitution, and the law was narrowly defined to punish specific conduct within the state's power. The court stated that evidence of provocation or truth was irrelevant to the case. The significance of this case lies in the Supreme Court's decision to establish limits on free speech and the government's ability to regulate speech that has the potential to harm or disturb the public. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.